Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back into Terraria. And if you probably just noticed, I made a dummy character in a different world and just used that world for farming fish. And I got all these crates. Look at all these crates. I caught nine iron crates and there's 97 wooden crates cool right all right let's see what can I replace I don't know if I want to replace anything to be honest with you oh well because in this episode because last episode I said I was going to uh, probably go take on wall of flesh that means we're going to be going into hard mode if I can defeat them. And I got all these guide booty dolls. So I got plenty of chances as long as the guide responds fast enough. I built a, a third or fourth floor for more NPCs. You probably noticed. I know that all the furniture and stuff's all weird, but it was all free stuff I got. Saves on wood that way. And. What was I going to say here? So, I set up my inventory so I can have, like, a way to fight him. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to defeat him, to be honest with you. Let's put that shadow key up. I don't need it right now. I will later. If I want to farm the dungeon anymore. But yeah, I got all these crates ready for a hard mode. As soon as hard mode starts, we're going to break these crates open. That's what, uh, that's what's going to happen in this, hopefully this episode if I can defeat him. And hopefully get some hard mode ores. Right off the bat. I'm not sure if I want to use... Wait a second. I need to go look for... This does pretty good amount of damage. I might try to use this during the fight too. I gotta remember to summon my uh, imp. Do I have? Yes, I do have a bewitching table. Do I not? Because I got it from the dungeon. Might use this. Put this down in hell. I need my buff potions. I'm looking for the enchantment tables or the uh, bewitching table. I can even find it. It's around here somewhere. It could be in that chest that I did not sort because I spent several hours doing something else. Well, I'll show you in just a moment. It might be in here. Yep, here we go. That's the alchemy table. I don't need that, but I do need the bewitching table. So I can have two imps at the same time. Yeah, I never cleared this chest out, so it's still a mess. Because I was spending all my time doing something else. Let's see what potions I got for buffs. We definitely need buffs. Okay, so I got regeneration potion. Uh, magic power potion. Sure. Let's only take one of those. We got swiftness potion. Let's just take the stack. Iron skin. Thorns. I got. Let's go ahead and fill up these to 30. Heart Reach Potion could be really useful. Let's just go ahead and take one of them. Mana Regeneration Potion. I don't know if I'm going to be using that much mana. And I don't think I should use it. Because I want to save this kind of thing. Because these can be really powerful for hard mud stuff. And very useful too. Even these can be as well. 8 minute, eight, eight minute duration. 5, 2, 4... Five, two, hmm. I'm going to put these down by where I'm going to summon him. And I think that when you uh, summon the wall of flesh, we'll take three of these. When you summon the wall of flesh, what I usually do is I'll take the, uh, the guide booted all and I'll like throw it and then you turn. And then it hits the lava, because I think the uh, the wall of flesh will always spawn where your backside is facing, not your front. So, if I want him to come from this direction, 
make sure to turn your back the direction you want him to come from. If that makes any sense. It's always worked for me. I didn't want, I don't want him to like, I'd be at the end of my deal, you know, at the roadway made it to hell and throw the guide voodoo doll and he comes from the other direction. Then I'm kind of screwed. All right. Well, what took me so much so long yesterday, besides doing this stuff, is I cut out an entire section. I isolated this entire section right here as my home base. Why I took so much land instead of just like starting right here and to here and making a small box. I made a large box so I get all this extra space to build, expand. And I still need to make a mushroom biome, my own mushroom biome. I, I like making a jungle biome. So uh, I want to do that. I kind of want to do a jungle biome maybe over here. And you want to do deep enough so you get the uh, all the spawns up too close to the surface. So you'll get all the spawns of enemies slash spores, whatever you need. And mushroom uh, biome can be right on the top. It don't really matter. I'm thinking about taking this little cave right here. And turning this into the mushroom bomb, I'm just going to square it off, make it look better. Maybe a jungle on this side, and whatever else I want to do here. I'll expand, expand my house. All right, guys, let's go. And I'll show you my walkway I made. This took a long time to do, besides digging all this out all the way around, I lined it all in stone bricks. So it looks better. See, so yeah, it goes a long ways. Now I hope that I'm lucky enough that let's see my bridge. Do I want to start on this side and go this way because I have better chance? But uh, if I kill him like right here, the V will go like right here. And if I kill him like right here, the V will go right through my house. And uh, each side of the V, which is two straight lines, this they're randomized. So this could be hollow, and this could be corruption, or this could be hollow, and this could be corruption. So you don't know what's going to be. And if it hits through my house, I gotta tear it all up. Like if it goes through this chunk, I gotta take all this chunk out. And I can like rebuild it or something if I have to. And that's what I'm scared of the most. Is that thing right there is that depends on where I kill the wall of flesh at. If you kill them too close or at the right spot, then you just ruined your whole home site. You don't want to do that. So I have to act fast and tear it up and destroy whatever's affected. And hopefully I haven't actually enough time to do that, to be honest. And back to the bridge. I don't know which side do I want to do to start him on. I want to start on this side. Hmm. I don't know how fast I'm going to take him out. That's the problem. If it's not fast enough, then I'll get uh, screw myself over. Maybe. Not unless I can lead him way over here. Because at first, you're not doing as much damage as you would in hard mode. Because in hard mode, you can just take this guy down very quickly. Because you get some new weapons, you get new armor. And yeah, you can take him down real fast. Well, only way to know is if we do it, guys. You ready? You excited? It's exciting to finally fight the Wall of Flesh. Anybody, you know, when I first fought the Wall of Flesh, when I first played this game... Man, I was shaking. It was like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. It's so exciting. It's crazy. Yeah, I noticed I dug up. Except right here. Oh, because this is the end. Alright, what I need to do. That bat shouldn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Let's put this stuff down here at the end. Now we'll use both. And then we will use Mr. Demon Dude. And, of course, she'll be there to mess me up. Ah, oh, you. Messing everything up. This is the problem with hell. You get constantly... Hounded. Alright. There we go. 
And there he is. See, I face my back towards him. He'll be coming from this direction. And that's why I just is the way I think it works. I use the ammo box. The ammo box allows me to use less ammo or have a chance to use less ammo. Now I'll use my buff potion. Use up all my mana. Try to kill the hungry because these things can be pretty dangerous. Slime, you do not need to be here right now. I'm fighting a boss. No spawns. Look at this. You see the spawns? That's just wrong. I think the mouth takes the most damage. And all these demon bolts are not working. I'm not even getting hurt that much. He's almost there. He's almost there. And he's down. And you'll see down here, the ancient spirits of light and dark have been, been released. And we got a breaker blade. Healing potions. We'll be in here for a second. So we got this breaker blade that does 54 damage. And it reminds me of another game, one of my favorites, and a lot of people's favorites actually. Does it look familiar to anybody that's old enough that has played this particular game? It looks like a buster sword from Final Fantasy VII. And there's the pawn hammer. This allows you to break the shadow orbs, or the sh uh, shadow altars. Let me go back and get my... Dang it, I don't have a... That guy is an NPC. I just killed an NPC right there because he's corrupted. But I don't have any purification powder. The purification powder allows you to turn him back to a good guy. And then he becomes kind of like a money collector, a tax collector in your town. And you just go back to him periodically and get free money. It's just a waiting game on that. It's not a huge amount of money, but it is something. It helps you out. So next time we come down here, I gotta definitely get some uh, some purification powder. And you buy that from the uh, I can't even remember her name. Another guy, booty doll, yay! There he is again. So he constantly spawns. I wonder if that breaker blade will do any good damage. Sorry, dude. I'll get you back later. I still got buffs. I'm, where I'm kind of scared about the whole, uh, what is, uh, going on. Oh, dang it. He wasn't back, was he? I just threw a guy to it all because I thought that the guy respawned. The guy don't respawn. Not that fast. But where did I kill him? You'll notice I left the box there that he spawns when he died. For a reason, so I can know exactly where he died. So I know exactly where the V is. I was hoping to kill another wall of flesh, but the guy don't spawn back very fast. Sometimes he'll spawn immediately, sometimes he doesn't. Let's get back into this box. If I can get up there. Alright, now let's look at this and see where I killed him. Ooh. You, it won't show until I actually go up there. Maybe right here. That looks white, like pearl sand. Is that pearl sand? Yeah, that's pearl sand right here. So the V went right here, and that's, that's uh, this right here is the hollow. So all this started as hollow. It means corruption went this way. And I'm safe. My home site should be safe. Get out of here, man. You know? Man, I don't have purification powder. Let's try that breaker blade real quick. This is, yeah, I know it's slow. But it does more damage. It's not a, a material, I don't think, so you can't make it into something else. Let's go back to the surface. Let's check my wares and watch out. Now the world is different. There's new enemies everywhere. It can be very, very dangerous walking around here. 
I can go after those two altars. Oh jeez, this is not a good idea. Yep, there's new enemies, and look at that big dude. Oh man. Oh jeez, sand shark. I don't remember the sand sharks. That must be pretty new. Apparently there's a new update coming out. One, uh, what was it, 3.6 or something? That's being in the works. This is dangerous to do this. I shouldn't be out here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down. No. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Sand shark. No. I hope that worm don't follow me all the way back. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Woo. We got crates to open. I got money in my inventory I don't need to be holding on to. Oh, I might use this breaker blade for a while. But don't get rid of your uh, nice edge. See, it's a material down at the bottom there. They can turn into a lot more powerful weapon later on. Alright. Yeah, I don't have a new guide. Uh, I can't remember what's her name's. Her. She gives you purification powder right here. And you sprinkle that on that old guy down in hell. So let's put that here where this hammer is. What's this hammer power? You got a uh, 80 hammer power and this is 70. But it has an axe too. So that's just a hammer. This does an axe and a hammer so you can cut down trees. But before I get more NPCs in here and taking up all the room, I want to go back down and purify that guy if we find him. We see him almost every time you leave the screen. It's like he always spawns just outside the screen. We saved our house, guys. We saved it. We killed the wall of flesh just right where his uh, the V didn't touch our house. He probably noticed this. I'm going to probably use this as a farming spot. Now we got new bats, see how big he is. And these guys can confuse you if you hit if they hit you. Which confusion means all your controls are backwards and it can be really annoying. But this spot right here is farming stone right here to build my uh that walkway, that huge walkway. I need to go to that spider dungeon I saw on that map too. There's new spiders that spawn in there and they have a chance they drop uh spider mandibles. Oh, we're in the hollow right now. It's probably not a good place to be right now. I'm not ready for it. But I will pick up this crystal. Crystal shard. Alright, there he is. He's right there. No, don't kill him. Collect. Hey, he had nothing to give me. But, yep, he needs to... If I leave the screen, he'll spawn up there. So I gotta go far enough away from him. So he doesn't get killed. Oh, I hear a... Oh, jeez, no. No, too early. Too early. Mimics. These guys will pretty much one-shot you. This is literally like a boss fight. There's smaller Mimics and these Mimics. This is a Hallowed Mimic. means that one right there comes from the Hallow Biome. And there's one for the uh, Corruption Biome. Oh, look at that damage. Yeah, he does massive damage. If I can kill him, I get a really good item early on. If I die right here, I can just pick up my money because it'll be on this platform. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, this uh, Phoenix Blaster is pretty good. These platforms are really good at farming these mimics, too. Because you just keep running backwards. And they can't get to you very easily. It's a straight line. If it's easy for you to run on, it's easy for you to dodge too. So keep that in mind. Come on, die. Give me your good items. No. Die, man. Nope, slime. Hey, you best. You, you barstered. Oh, what'd you drop? Daedalus Stormbow. Get off, man. Jeez. Ooh. 44 damage. I have no arrows. Alright. We saved the tax collector. He's ours now. 
So if you guys want to save you guys time, uh, your, uh, yourself some time, know that the tax collector spawns pretty much down in hell as soon as you kill the wall of flesh. Just go ahead and carry some purification powder down here. That will save you some serious time. You get some greater health potions from him. That's really good. These heal 150 life compared to these that heal only heal 100. I got a shark. Well, I got a shark friend from that uh, sand shark. But I got the Daedalus bow. Shoots arrows from the sky. Kind of like the uh, Star Fury that you get from the Sky Islands. But let's head back to the surface. We got some uh, fishing crates to open. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Let's put this stuff away. You can farm the wall of flesh. He has a chance of dropping a bunch of things. They're uh, really hand handy things. Needs to set these down somewhere. Set them outside. These are useful, so they are worth the money when you get the traveling salesman. He'll sell this. And the bit uh, the bewitching table. If I said that correctly, the witching table. Turn the guides back. And this is worth it because you get extra summons. All right, guys. We emptied out our inventory for the most part, except for the 12 gold coins. We're not going to have the same insect we had that last episode, where we lost 15. 26 gold coins, 1 platinum. Let me just put away some of this stuff for now. We'll fight the wall of flesh some more later. That's a guarantee. Now, uh... I'm going to put hard mode potions up here. Actually, I'll put them right here. This hard mode stuff, like this crystal shard, which is a material. Uh, I'll show you guys what it can be used for. That that only those uh, crystal shards only can grow in the hollow, underground hollow. And so you can make greater healing potions, greater mana potions, crystal darts, crystal bullets. These are these are good. Crystal block, the chick yo-yo, which calls souls of light and 15 crystals and one yo wooden yo-yo. So if you make a wooden yo-yo at the start, keep it. If you want the chick, you make these phase phase uh, blue phase bar or just phase bars. I think these are auto swing. And yes, they are lightsabers. They cost 50 crystal shards and the yellow the the original phase bar. These are more upgraded, of course. Magical harp, which costs souls of sight. That's a mechanical boss. Souls of night. These are from the corruption crystals and the harp you get from the wizard underground rainbow rod 76 damage this costs a lot sight that's the twins mechanical boss hallow pixies unicorn horn from unicorns of course shifting pearl sand die Ooh, I wonder if this is any good I haven't even got this one yet crystal storm this is a good magic but you need the wizard, which he'll spawn randomly underground. And he is one of your NPCs you can get. So let's put away a uh, hard mode equipment. This is a hard mode equipment. And let's see. Fishing stuff. Materials. I want this in hard mode materials. So what's up here? I'll make this hard mode materials. Actually, let's make this hard mode materials. So let's go ahead and type that in. Or I forget. Nope. Sorry. I'll just put mats. Nobody knows what that means if you like RPGs. Alright. Now let's go open some fishing crates. I know I've said this a million times, but keep getting sidetracked. No. Don't stay up top. Yeah, if you want to get your whole stack, just break them all like this. At the bottom, they all fall. Now we got all these crates open. Hopefully, get a bunch of hard mode ores right off the bat. Because more of those uh, altars you destroy, you start summoning more stuff in the game. Oh, no, I had more. 99 plus 2. Sweet. Alright, iron crates first. <clears throat> Masturbate. <laughs> There's a pun for you. Come on, ores. Ooh, titanium. Nice. Mithril. So I'll put it in that order. 
What is this? Brisk says, ah, dude, I, guys, I just got a cloud in a bottle. Well, it's a tsunami, a tsunami in a bottle. It's basically the same thing. I just got a cloud in a bottle finally after all this time. It only took hard mode to get it. Another one. That's just unfair. Ah, palladium. Journeyman bait. Copper bow. Oh, yeah. oh. Selfish boots. The wearer can run super fast. Nice. I guess it's just like the other the boots you can get. Let's put some of this stuff away real quick. <clears throat> These crates can really fill up your inventory and quickly too. Let's go on this side. Put away that. Put potions. Not far enough. All right. Oh, these potions are getting full. I might have to put, put hard mode potions up top. Yeah, let's put them up top. Let's put the rest of these down here. Mana potion, that's 100, so that's normal. Oh, this base good. I'm going to use this to get more crates, actually. Well, I didn't put the. Oh, I don't have any copper bars, that's why I didn't put them up. Alright, open up some more. Another tsunami. Oh, I got 36 gold coins. Nice. Potion. Does these even give you hard mode ores? Come on. Oh, wow. I got that same buck I've had like a hundred of. It's not giving me any more of these bars. Gills potion. Quick stack. Is it only the metal crates? No, here we go, Palladium. Finally, I was starting to wonder. See, these wooden crates only give you the nuggets. They don't give you the bars. The iron crates are better. Gives you bars. Ooh. Anchor. It's a weapon. It's kind of like a flail. Let's put some of this stuff away. I know I'm wasting time doing this, but... You guys do need to see these bottles. I'm going to put all these fishing crate stuff in here for now. And I'll sort them out later. Stuff that can't, that's like specific fishing related. In some way. Let's go here. Quick stack. I don't have gills potion. Wow. Alright. Another senior me in a bottle. Uh, cobalt. Okay. That's like the first ore you can get. But. Cobalt is the same as palladium. And therefore, Palladium is the same as Cobalt. They have different effects, but they have a chance of spawning in your world. Like, uh, in this world, I started with uh, tin, lead, tungsten, and platinum. While the other ores are these. These are these equivalent. So these four, their equivalent is these four. So, yeah. As you just get, I guess you can get anything out of these, these uh, crates. Even if they're not something natural from your world. Ooh, titanium. Still got a lot of crates to go, guys. Uh, adamantine? This is the equivalent of this. Nice. Wow. Come on. Oh, I just got some more palladium bars. So you can get bars plus the nuggets. Ooh, I just got the sundial, guys. This is awesome. The sundial, this is a rare drop from any crates. And this allows you to switch the time of day at any time. It's not, you only get one try, time to do it and it has to cool down for a long time. I think the cool down rate is like a few days or up to a week in game time. But it allows you to change one one day, daylight time or day night time on the fly. So if you want it to be night time all of a sudden... You can't have it that way. So this is a good drop. I'll put that in the equipment chest. There's so much stuff you get through these crates. It's just mind-boggling. I want to put this into the blocks chest right now. And now we'll put it down somewhere. I'm keeping all these ores on me to see how much I get. Let me put these in blocks too. Extra junk potions. Oh man, look at all these potions. Yeah, I'm going to put these hard mode potions up here. 
it makes more sense because that's where most of my hard mode stuff goes anyways let's put this aglet all right more more crates no no more no more dip daddling whatever that word is 36 36 they still could be relevant even in hard mode oh adamantine that was for 12 nuggets nice oh some more adamantine nuggets We're getting lower on the, the potions. Well, this is the point of this. Well, there's so much stuff. Alright, 40 crates left, guys. Ah, really? Took me a while to find those. And you just get a free pair out of the crates. So this is what I mean. These crates can really get you some good stuff. This is the same as this one here. This mithril. So orange or it's a column. Let's just open all these up and see what I get. Because all the items will just drop on the floor. Let's do this. Oh. Or it's a column nuggets. Man, it is just so much stuff. And mithril nuggets. And or a column nuggets. Let's put this down on the floor. So yeah, it's worth it, guys. So if you go fishing, and I just got another enchanted sundial. Wow. So if you if you if you're willing to put in the time to go fishing in this game, it is definitely worth it because you get all this. Look at all this hard mode ore that I already got before actually. You know destroying any of the shadow altars let's put this stuff on the ground for now drop and drop let's see all that bait i got all that master bait derpy derp look at all these bottles if i would have just opened some crates i would have already had a cloud in a bottle and these two this sim similar to the uh, hermes boots and where's, where's all that bait did i put it in here yeah i got 28 journeymen 16 master bait he he and apprentice bait and i got 72 gold plus 27 silver dudes totally worth it oh really look at this that's a douchey move right there all right hard mode ores we'll put them in order all right so palladium on this side cobalt on this side mithril Titanium, adamantine, titanium, myth, or a chicalum. I don't know if I put that so far away. And palladium. Oh, I didn't get any nuggets of cobalt. Oh, this is supposed to be here. And this is supposed to be, what is this, uh, cobalt or a chicalum here. So let's move everything over. There we go. Yeah, I didn't get any nuggets of cobalt. This is all the hard mode ores I got right off the bat. I like titanium because if you have a full set of armor on titanium, if something hits you, one hit, you become corporeal. And nothing can hit you for like a limited amount of time. It makes you, basically gives you invincible frames. Or invincibility frames. It is handy. Alright, should we go take out some altars, guys? Yeah, there's a few down here. Yeah, one and two. But I got I'm gonna keep one of these near my house. All if you have a uh, demon altar near your house or your home spot spot that you pick, keep it. Don't destroy it. If there's multiple, destroy all the extras. Just keep one. Don't ever destroy them all. And be careful when you destroy these. They'll summon wraiths. They'll come through walls at you. What is that? Oh, that's a strange plan but uh these every time you destroy these it it randomly spawns a piece of corruption or hollow in your world randomly anywhere means if i destroy this demon altar over here means a piece of corruption can spawn right here or literally right here you don't know and it's random too so let's destroy it cobalt okay there's one of the wraiths wraithos 
and the uh, corruption is really dangerous in hard mode it's pretty bad you got corruptors which are big soul eater dudes and they do massive damage and they spit at you at, a, at ranged when they spit at you and if the if you dodge the spit the uh, spit will hit the ground and turn that spot into corruption and therefore it will start spreading so yeah be careful those corruptors can mess up your cell keep putting down torches uh, pick up that strange point so when you go after the corruptors or if corruptors are coming after you make sure or be careful where their spit goes because it can really mess up a, you're like if you have one chasing you to your house and it spits on your house or something then boom your house starts becoming corrupted and then you have to destroy a chunk of your house we got wolves now so one biome I didn't really do very much in snow biome look at that 55 damage for that so yeah you want to start spawning in besides the fishing crates that allows you to have some hard mode ores you want to get as much of the hard mode ores as possible so you can start upgrading. So you want to go down, not there, as a dead end. You need to find the actual way down. It doesn't end in a dead end. Like this. There's all these shadow altars. Oh, I got mithril. And adamantine. I didn't get titanium in my world. Just remember, every one of these is causing one of these to spawn. And hopefully nothing spawns in my home site, like uh, corruption or anything. Usually adamantine, uh, each type of uh, ore, the new ores, spawn at different levels in your world. Like uh, cobalt will be closer to the surface. surface. Mithril will be in the middle, and uh, adamantine will be down at the very bottom. That's uh, including the uh, titanium. It's dark. Try and go after this shadow altar, demon altar. Mithril reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. Mithril. This breaker blade's not too bad. I don't usually use this this weapon. I get it and I just put it up. I continue using the uh, the knight's edge. See, is that that looks like? Oh, that's a corruptor right there. You don't want those. They do a lot of damage. They spit, and they can corrupt your world. They keep spitting at you. There's another one. Of course, there's another one. Probably saw him spit at me. I told you this uh, place can be really dangerous because this stuff just. You got all these new enemies just popping out. Look how much health this stuff takes already. It's like, nope, you're dead, man. You are dead. I need to inflict darkness on you, too. I think that was the slime. Those flying slimes. Cursed armor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to hard mode. It only goes up from here. Or down, depending on how bad your luck is. Oh, jeez. World Eater. Yeah. I feel a death coming. If you get one of those World Eaters on you, they, they'll follow you a long ways. Oh, they can drop something called Cursed Fire. Oh, no. Oh, oh Cursed Flame. I got five of it, too. Oh, see all this corruption right here? I think that was part of the, uh... Oh, jeez, no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out. My death was coming. And swiftly. I got a few things, but this cursed flame. You need a bunch of that for stuff. I might go after that spider dungeon, actually. Where did that guy spawn? Up there? Yep, there's the tax collector. He's up there, too. Oh, I can see. Collect. I can collect one gold, 76 silver, 50 copper. That's how much time has elapsed in the game. Now let's go talk to the guy. Let's go see what this cursed flame is for. 
Oh, all right, you can make curse bullets. It goes for the uh, curse flame book. I don't know if I've used the curse flame book, so that'll be new to me. Flask of curse flames, living curse flame block. That's kind of neat. Cursed torch, cursed arrows, and dart darts. Cursed flame has like a when it sets you on fire, it stays on you for a long time. And that's what's bad about it. Let's go down to hell, guys. We're going to go check out that spider dungeon. I still got plenty of room. Yeah, you can make a lot of money now in hard move. Everything is a lot more tougher. And only gets tougher as it goes along. The more you do. And the hard mode bosses like the... Oh, let's see some stuff over there. Break into my wall. Looks like cobalt. Hey, this pickaxe, the reaver shark can dig this. Ha ha. Usually, by now you have to have the uh, molten pickaxe. The uh, other ores, like if you have titanium, iron ore, adamantine, mithril, or palladium, whatever. Not palladium. Whatever the equivalent is. Or, or your chicalum, the blue, the pink stuff. You can't dig that until you get the next pickaxe. So if I want to dig uh, mithril, the green stuff, I have to build a pickaxe out of cobalt. And then you can get mithril, and then you gotta build a pickaxe out of mithril, and then you can make our dig up adamantine. So it's all tiered. Be careful of these uh, armor guys, because they have a chance to cause a debuff on you called... Oh, you... Medusa. Nice. Get off. Gosh, man, knockback. You ever heard of it? I hate those medusas. You gotta be careful with them. They turn you. They turn you to stone. And after you get turned to stone, if you are in mid air, then you fall and basically fall apart. Yeah. See, I can't dig this with the reaver shark, but I can dig that down there. That's a uh, cobalt. Oh, there's the wizard. See, you can just find the wizard randomly underground. He's another NPC. You gotta free him like the uh, goblin tinkerer. And what I'm going to buy is I'll get the crystal ball. I don't know if I ever get the, uh, that. Uh, music boxes are cool. I'll get me a magic tome. All this stuff's kind of useful because this right here allows you to build late, way later on. Allows you to build a light pet that's kind of like a fairy, like in uh, Ocarina of Time. You can have uh, like a a fairy following you around that will put an uh, aura of light around you. I can't remember what this is even for. But the music boxes allow you to stand it if you have it activated in your inventory. I think you got to hold on to it or something. I've never used a mu music box, but I know what it does. And if you like a certain music in a biome, you just stand in there with that music box and it'll after so much time has elapsed you get to keep that music and you can put the uh, music box down somewhere and it'll play that music is that, am I in the hollow? no what is this? I was just aiming at this oh I saw green there for a moment so I think this is adamantine but I can't pick that up I need the next pickaxe which is in my world cobalt got 23 nuggets plus whatever I have at the home I might actually be able to build one. How much cobalt did I get from the crates? Let's find out. Uh, cobalt 7 bars. And I didn't even get any nuggets either. Wow. That's a disappointment. And yeah, to make bars with this, you need to use the Hellforge. Can I make a pick? Let's go up here to my pick or my anvil. What does it cost? Cobalt swords 46 melee compared to 54 or 57. That's just normal. Okay. Let's see how much I need. I need a full set of armor. If I'm careful enough, I can do what I did with the um hell 
and I can just go down to hell. Or like farm it without getting killed. This allows you to enhance your magic when you place it down. Kind of this is like the ammo box or this. You place it down, you can use it. All right, dude. Let's see what I need here. So this needs 15. I got one, one, one bar. It's up to you if you want to use the drill, but it's noisy. I'm gonna stick with the pickaxe for the let's play. That's 110 pickaxe power compared to the Reaver Shark being 100. So yep, it got a little bit more. Cobalt leggings, increased me movement speed, seven defense. So it's so uh, eight defense on chest piece. This is nine. So it's one less on that. You get three percent critical strike. And this has nothing except for this uh, set bonus for the whole set. It was pants seven. Ten increased movement speed. Eight. Okay. Okay. Hat increases maximum mana. That's so that's mana gear. This is ranged gear. Your helmet in hard mode, your helmet is determined which class you're picking pretty much. You got your magic, ranged, melee. And I'll probably stick with melee on this one. Till later on. 11 defense. Oh yeah, it's better than the helmet here. So I gotta go get some more cobalt, guys. Yay. Let's put the crystal ball down since I got it here. I'll move it later on to where it needs to be. Like in arena. Because I don't usually build arenas for the beginning bosses, except for the Wall of Flesh and uh, the. Uh, let's put this up real quick. Actually, I'll put that here. Hard mode mats. But uh, I don't build arenas until in hard mode because the mechanical bosses. And I'll put this stuff in the arena. In easy mode, I don't use. I don't do the mess with that stuff. So. I see people always building arenas for every fight, and I was like, there's no point. Not for early on. So I gotta get see if I at least make the pickaxe before the end of the episode. Where did my... Oh, why are you way out here, dude? You turned this strange, pl strange plant. Whatever it's called. Oh, well, we made it to hard mode, and it didn't take very long. This is, what, the 14th episode? 14 episodes in, we're in hard mode. I'm very experienced with this game. Some stuff in the hard mode I'm not. It's the beginning part. So easy now for me. So I can go to like go down to hell way before I should or need to be. Cause I can go down I remember taking out the uh going into the jungle with like cactus armor and getting the blade of grass and all that stuff real early on. Because I'm just ballsy that way. Put down a torch, please. Jeez. So I have some mithril here. I'm looking for cobalt. Can you please not do that? The wizard should be at top already. What am I getting hit on? It's like I keep hitting my head on something right there. I want to go to that spider dungeon. And farm the spiders. Because you get a pet there that will change out my other pet. Which is the, the imp. I like the little spider pet. He doesn't have any ranged attacks, but he flies all over the place. He's fast. That's why I like him. And he like <laughs> he latches onto your enemy and just stays on him until they die. Means when he does that, you can only be on that one target at any time until the, that target's down. So keep that in mind. It does more damage. Just like if you have multiple spiders when you have the summon armor or summon weapons or whatnot. Oh yeah. You're going the wrong ways. Ain't find nothing. Now these guys can do a lot more damage. They're new fish. <clears throat> Dangerous fish. Everything in this mode can kill you really quick. So you just got to be real careful. Watch all your corners. And just keep mining until you get that next set of gear which is still not that powerful and just move up from there but yeah at this point the hard mode bosses or the mechanical bosses will start summoning themselves like uh, Cthulhu does, does at 200 health 
or yeah, 200 or more health. You'll have, you'll see a message down here in the corner saying something about you the 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 air is chilly tonight, or there's a bad feeling in the air. That means you got a mechanical boss that's about to summon itself. And when it does, most of the time you will die multiple times until you power up enough. So if it, one of those spawns and I have to I'm like force to fight it, I can tell you right now I most likely will not win. Because those uh, mechanical bosses are very hard. These uh, green ones can do a lot of damage. This looks like a uh, mithril. It is. Well, I'm finding everything except cobalt, guys. Nice. I know. Dang bat. I'm just looking for cobalt. Not, yeah, cobalt. Yeah, that's all I need right now. Do I have to go and destroy more shadow altars or demon altars? You know, I was a big fan of the uh, Shadow Warrior series or the games. I have the old games and I bought the, the first one, the new ones, or the new two. And I bought the uh, first one when it first came out. Loved it, you know, because I like the Shadow Warrior series. I'm like a big fan of those type of games, those old Doom style Quake kind of games. And uh, never bought the second game. I was like, I didn't see any point because I heard those like bad things about it. There was some stuff that was quite right or something. So I didn't ever buy it. And plus, I didn't have the money for it. So I just, just left it alone. And if I want to play Shadow Warrior, then I'll play the other games. But why I bring this topic up is that I went on, uh, I found an email. Because I have that GOG.com. I like GOG. Shout out to the GOG. But having this site, I had this email saying that for a limited time only, they were giving away Shadow Warrior 2 for free. I was like, uh, heck yeah. Why not? Even though it may have not, not the best of reviews compared to the first game in the series of new releases. I'm not going to give up a free game, guys. I mean, who would? Not unless it's some really, really bad game. It's just not even worth a penny. Then I'm okay with that. But I think Shadow Warriors 2 is worth maybe, you know, free. I'm okay with that. So I'm kind of happy about that. That was some good news for me. A freebie. I kind of wanted to give that game a try, even though I heard people complaining about it. I did like the, the first one, though. Bear played that one. Oh, jeez. Come on, drop the metal detector, please. That's the uh, lost girl. And she did. Yes. Yes, guys. That is, I'm just having a good day. I just got the metal detector from the lost girl. Or the nymph, as she's called after she becomes... Changes. And I just got... Uh, that looked weird. But I got Shadow Warrior for free. Shadow Warrior 2 for free. Which is awesome. And then... I just got the Lost Girl to drop her freaking metal detector. She she rarely spawns, so... Keep a close up for her. If you if you see her in the distance, the Lost Girl, she'll be like just standing there. Doing nothing. She won't be moving or nothing. And you're like, okay, who's that? That looks like an NPC or something. Well, if you get close to her, she changes and becomes a nymph. And she chases you relentlessly. And she's very powerful. In early game, she will most likely will take you down in one hit. I can guarantee that. But uh, if you kill her, she has a chance of dropping the metal detector. The metal detector allows you to see uh, valuable ores near you. It says displays the most valuable ore around you, which is, if I go out of the menu, what is the ore? Silver detector, it means that's the most valuable ore in my vicinity, which is, I can't actually see it from here. 
So that'll tell me where most mithril's. So it'll tell me where cobalt is. But yeah, cobalt can spawn all the way down here to the low parts of the world from the surface all the way down. But the uh, like adamantine or or chicalum or whatever the other one is, the mithril can spawn in the middle, but they can't spawn close to the surface. What's this? Is this? Oh, well, I'm in the hollow. This is a dangerous place. That music means I'm in the hollow, and these are all hollow enemies. I gotta pick this up. I'm so close to getting that pickaxe. I'm letting this this video carry on because I just hit hard mode. I'm having a good day with things that's happening, like the metal detector and getting Shadow Warrior 2. So yeah, guys. Um, I'm happy. Alright, I want to go to that spider dungeon, but I will save that for next episode. Because I want to farm the spider dungeon, because they can drop the staff, a poison staff. And they drop the uh, spider mandibles and stuff, which you can use to make a summoning staff to summon a spider. And you can make a full set of armor out of the spider stuff. That allows you to have more minions. So it's a summon class armor. I don't think I ever build the armor, but I do build the staff. Oh, oh no, oh no. It's Tim. It's Tim. We're dead. Oh, jeez, jeez. Yeah, that's Tim. He's a reference to another movie. And the movie is Monty Python's The Search for the Holy Grail. If you remember, if you've ever seen that movie, it's very funny. Big fan of the, the Monty Python series. And, uh, that there's a character in there that blocks a bridge that they need to cross. And he says, Some call me Tim. And it's funny. This ultimate wizard, he just called Tim. And that's what that uh, wizard is. He's just a reference to a Monty Python thing. And it's cool. I love finding references of popular or old movies and video games. We definitely have enough now for the pickaxe. Woo. Here we go. Somewhere in here. There it is. And bam. We just finally, oh, hmm. well, we finally got, uh, finally used up the reaver shark. I'm not going to get rid of it, though. I'll probably put it in a plaque somewhere because this thing, if you catch it as early as possible, right when you start the game, try to go after the reaver shark on either the oceans and it'll carry you all the way through to hard mode. And you don't have to waste more material on making all those pickaxes. So, awesome. And this is from Tim. It's a vanity uh, rune hat and the rune robe. Let's do this. I've had that top hat on forever. Let's change it up. Aww. Let's do this real quick. Let's get rid of the dies. And look, this is what it looks like. You have this colorful trail that follows you around wherever you run. And you look like a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Or I'll be like, you're a wizard, Papa Meerkat. That well, looks like a Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII with wizard uniform. Whoops. Sorry, rabbit. Tricks are for kids. All right. Let's go put some of this stuff up. And we got this. And it gives me defense too, but if I change it into the next item, which I might be able to, let's see. Alright, I can make the goblin tech, I need the stopwatch. That's all I need, because I already got the DPS meter, and I got the metal detector. That's in here. I just need the stopwatch. Stopwatch is sold by the traveling merchant. Darned it. I don't know if I ever bought that. I don't think he's ever had it for sale. But if you see this traveling merchant, he'll have the uh, stopwatch on him randomly. And he'll sell it to you, and I can't remember the price of it. I haven't seen it in a while. Let's put up my oars right now, and uh, we'll probably call that an episode. 
we got a lot done in this episode. We took out the wall of flesh. We entered hard mode. We got the uh, cobalt pickaxe. Actually, let's do one more thing before we end. Let's go and upgrade this thing because I do not want shoddy. I'm sorry. I, ew. Dude. Thank you. Did you see that? Every time I did that, it was always something awful. It's his fault. It's Dars' fault. What a name, Dars. Alright, now we'll call that an episode. Alright guys, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat family and support my family, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you uh, think my commentary is helpful, funny, or just all around entertaining, hit that like button and show your support that way too. And don't forget about don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And I'll see you ladies and gentlemen later. Bye bye.